Joining us now to talk about that caravan and the latest announcement that uh, Rod Rosenstein's classified interview with the House uh, uh, Judiciary and Oversight Committees has been postponed. Congressman Matt Gates, member of the House Judiciary Committee. Congressman, great to have you with us. Uh, here we go again. What's up with this postponement? Uh, not coming this time from Rosenstein, but from the uh, the four elders of the uh, uh, of the Congress, the House, uh, who were playing this game. What do you make of it? Lou, we make being a member of Congress so much harder than it has to be. All we need to do is tell the truth, hold open hearings, and show the American people what's really happening. I am so frustrated that we are now weeks after Rod Rosenstein, uh, we learned that Rod Rosenstein had made statements about wearing a wire on the president, and we have not had him in an open hearing under oath to answer questions. I'm hopeful the fact that we've ended this little, like, behind closed doors patty cake game between the committee chairman and Rod Rosenstein, the fact that we've dispensed with that means we'll have more transparency in this process and more openness. But you know what, Lou? Frankly, sometimes they just, our own leadership and the other side, they want to keep Jim Jordan and Mark Meadows and Matt Gates out of the room because we're the ones that ask the tough questions and they don't want us to participate yeah. because that'll provide the answers and we want to see where the truth leads. And uh, along with Devin Nunes, you all have been spearheading uh, the calls for, uh, for the truth. Uh, imagine that from the Justice Department, from the FBI. Uh, by the way, also from the FISA courts, which appear to be mm -hmm. complicit in the political corruption of the FBI and the Department of Justice. Mm -hmm. I, I want to turn very quickly to uh, what you think will happen next. Are we going to ever mm -hmm. see, uh, well, let me put it another way. Are we going to see any results from the Rosenstein uh, interview before the midterm elections, or have they successfully run out the clock on that as well? My fear is that there is a bipartisan desire to make no waves before the election. The Democrats think they've got the wind at their back. The Republicans think we ought to be quiet about everything other than tax cuts. It doesn't matter which party wins or loses the election when it comes to our right. jobs as member of Congress to do our oversight. So whether Rosenstein is fired or not fired, whether Republicans win or lose, we should never have a government that is trying to unseat a duly elected president. And that's what I'm going to be fighting for. And uh, in that, the uh, caravan seems timely, uh, whether it's 7,000, mm. 14,000 people. We know it's making mm. its way north, uh, everyone uh, making it clear they're going to enter the United States. The president says that caravan will not. Your thoughts? I'm proud of our president for protecting the border, but you made a point earlier in the show that is worth highlighting. This is not just a group of desperate migrants. We have people who are criminals, thugs, and Lou, I have received information from intelligence officials in Central America and even members of the intelligence community in the United States that you have some folks that have come from as far as Africa to join the caravan because they believe that is the way to gain illegal entry into the United States. Special interest aliens, jihadists, people from a different hemisphere using this weakness on our border to bring problems to the United States. That's why this is so serious. It's beyond a humanitarian crisis. It is a national security yeah. issue. And our president, who is tasked with protecting us, needs to make sure that this caravan is stopped, and I think he will. Yeah, the idea that this is a humanitarian crisis uh, fits into the, uh, to the left-wing narrative. Uh, but the reality is that this is an orchestrated uh, effort. It is a political effort that it's occurring two weeks before the election is no accident, nor is it an accident that uh, we now understand a second caravan has been assembled in Honduras of about a thousand people at this point and preparing to cross into Guatemala. Uh, it is, uh, it, at what point do, do we simply just say, please take our country? Uh, it is uh, open to the world. And what do we say to all the people who are in line uh, as President Obama, former President Obama said, who are uh, in line, and he was much concerned some decade ago uh, about being fair to them. No more, obviously. Well, Lou, 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 let me make this point. This is not one caravan or two caravans. This is a new strategy to get people who are not supposed to be in the United States into our country. And so if we do not take mm -hmm. strong, bold action, the caravan will never end. It will be ongoing, and our country will be borderless, and Americans will be left vulnerable. That's why this is so important. I don't think it's a coincidence that this is happening around election time, right. but we better show our strength. And uh, the president is doing, I think you would agree, just exactly mm -hmm. that.
Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. Congressman Matt Gates. Thank you.